What are we going to make today? Well, today, this is going to be a favorite of mine. And it is a lemon lime cream moonshine. It just kind of rolls off the tongue, don't it? it um, it's, a, it's another one that's very simple. I have made just lemon cream moonshine. It turned out fantastic. This recipe is just a little bit different, uh, but the same. And I hope it tastes out, tastes fantastic. But first things first, welcome to Stillworks and Abroad. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. And what is today? Well, today is Moonshine Wednesday. All right. Well, let's get started. I got my recipe right here in front of me. Uh, so, like I said, it is very simple to make. Uh, so let's get started, all right? So the very first thing we need, well, I'm gonna put the, we need a cup and a half of sugar. And this is just white, if I don't drop it. A cup and a half. One. And a half. One half cup of sugar. All right, and in that one and a half cup of sugar, we were going to add three cups of water. All right, and I, I like using bottled water. I don't know why, but I do. So we want three cups. One, two, And I just need a little bit more. And then I make three. Three cups of water. Okay. All right, so we're rocking and rolling. The next thing, and, I, and like I will, I always put the uh, ingredients down in the description box, so don't you worry about that. <coughs> the next ingredients is, and I'm gonna just start the heat on there really low. Just to let it start warming up a little bit while we're doing the rest of this. Okay, so now I need, and you could use fresh lemon juice, or I use the uh, just the lemon juice you buy. I found it works out just fine. So lemon juice, four tablespoons. One, two, three, four tablespoons of that. And I need four tablespoons of lime juice. Ain't that what Sprite is anyway? One, two, three, and four. Okay. The only thing I need now is a spoon. But you want to. I want to stir this. Because what I want to do is melt that sugar and this coffee cream. So how many, I need four tablespoons of, I'm using the uh, French powdered coffee creamer, but I guess you could use whatever you wanted. And I guess you could use liquid too. One. Two. Three. And. Four. So you put everything in except for the alcohol. Don't put the alcohol in because it just evaporate away, right? So we got all our first ingredients in there. So the next thing we need to do, and I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, is we just need to melt all this sugar. The sugar and kind of like bring it up to a, uh, just a simmer. Do, 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 do. I hope you guys are still enjoying this Moonshine Wednesday. I know I sure am. 
and I get to go. I go over to friends' house and I take a little bit of shine over. They enjoy that too. And Thanksgiving's coming up. So I had to make sure that I save enough shine for that, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me let that come up to a simmer, then I'll return. Okay, so that's that's cool. Okay, it's cooled down. So now all we got to do is left to add our shine. And I got 100 proof corn shine. 100 proof corn. Yeah. So the recipe calls for three cups of shine. Hey, if you want a little more, a little less, that's totally up to you. One. Two. Three cups of shine. All right, I'll give that a stir. And a taste. I'm going to leave it right there. Oh, that's good. Okay. And the next thing we got to do is put it in the bottle, right? And just so you know, these are, and I've said this a million times, because somebody pointed out, somebody gave me these bottles. They're from uh, that old Smoky. They drink a lot of that moonshine, so they saved me the bottles. And these bottles are 750. That's why uh, you'll see that uh, this will fill up two of these jars, I hope. All right, let me pour this in here. amount okay Put it on all right so that is our lemon lime cream moonshine it's got a nice color to it a little bit of creamy flavor now I have said it in the past most of the time this will if you got it in the fridge which i like to keep it in there because i just like it cold uh, but you'll notice it, it can separate a little bit but that's okay don't worry about that when you pull it out of the refrigerator before you serve it give it a shake and it's going to be just as delicious as when you made it um, okay i mean this is a simple moonshine to make um, and you'll bring it out either for yourself or for, or for friends. They're going to love it. Okay. So now let's give it a try. <laughs> I love it when the plan comes together. That could be a little bit dangerous. I'm thinking it's right around, if that was 100 proof shine. And I use three cups of that and three cups of water and the, and the other stuff. It's somewhere around 50 proof. Okay. Maybe just a shade less. But you pour that on ice or just put it in the fridge and drink it cold. But that's just mine. It, it tastes pretty darn good, good warm too. Wow. Okay. I better put a lid on that. All right, well, that's Moonshine Wednesday. Hey, just, if you, any of you guys out there have some uh, moonshine recipes that you would like to share with the group, please send them to me at stillworks 
and brewing at gmail.com. Still works and brewing at gmail.com. All right, that's my email. Just send me the recipe and I'll make sure I get it out. As long as it sounds good. But if you send it to me, I bet it is good. We've had a couple people do it. Uh, and it was very enjoyable. I mean, hey, we come up with a good recipe. We love to share, right? That's what the group's all about, sharing. Okay. Well, I guess that's about me, enough of me yakking. Um, I guess the last thing I got to say, well, like on Wednesday, there's two things I got to say. First, thanks for stopping by on Moonshine Wednesday. And the other thing is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. All right.